everyone. <laughs> this is a slightly strange video for a slot streaming channel, uh, but I've been asked to uh, put my beef burger recipe on YouTube. So I'm just going to make a start now and uh, be back to you in a second. Okay, so what I'm using is minced beef. Uh, there's more than a kilo there, uh, but I'm going to do a kilo mix. So you can uh, just break it down to as much as you want to do. So minced beef, um, slightly fatty as you can see. Um, some nice sea salt, a bit of chili, a few peppercorns, uh, some dried onion. Now it's not onion salt, don't use onion salt, it will be far too salty. That's onion powder or onion granules. Some smoked paprika. And finally, uh, some chopped in tomatoes. And a bit of flour. Um, I buy mine with flour. It's a bit um, unusual. But rather than breadcrumbs, uh, just sprinkle some flour on top and that will bind it. But I'll show you that in a minute. Unfortunately, I don't normally measure anything out. But um, if I just film what I'm putting in, you should be able to see. Um, no, it's normally just guesswork, to be honest. And if it, um, if it doesn't taste right, you can always adjust salt and pepper. But for a kilo, That should do for peppercorns. Now I'm gonna beat them up first. Okay, now a bit of salt. I'd imagine that's a good, it's probably a tablespoon to be honest. But I've no idea. I should have measured it, but you, you get the drift. I will make it easier this time. I'm, I'm going to actually use a spoon. Okay, so that's two tape. Is that a tablespoon? It is a tablespoon, and a dessert spoon. Two of those. One paprika. Now for the chilli, I'm just going to literally put a tiny bit in, not even half a, not even half a teaspoon I wouldn't have thought, otherwise it will be too hot for a kilo. Right, I'm just going to mix that round. Right, I've just transferred all that dry ingredients to a, a bigger bowl, because uh, it was getting a little bit uh, too small the other one. And you can see I've got uh, 93 uh, grams, which is almost perfect, I'm looking for a mix of about 10% dry ingredients to 90% um, uh, uh, meat. So what I'm going to do now is just sprinkle some flour in, a little bit more, not too much, just cover that top. I've got 106 grams now, which is pretty spot on. As I say, I was looking for 10% of the meat content. So I'm going to tip that now into a kilo of minced beef. Right, this is where it gets nice and icky. So mix all that together. Just get those dry ingredients blended. And if you're wondering what this bowl is, it's one of the best bowls in the uh, house that uh, people don't realize they've got. It's the salad crisper from the bottom of a fridge. And it makes a great mixing bowl because it's huge. You saw my bowl was full up. So uh, I always take out when I'm making sausages or burgers, I always take the salad crisper out the bottom of the fridge. There's two of them normally and just mix them together. Anyway, to that, half a tin of Tom's, or number six as we like to call him, <laughs> and just blend that in. I'm going to turn the camera off now because I really need to get sort of every corner of you know, all the dry ingredients mixed in, so I'll be back to you in a sec. Right, there it is all blended together, and that's your... Um, base for your burger. Now I'm going to press them out and I'm going to cook one off. Why did I say cook one off? All chefs say it and I hate it when they say it because it doesn't make any sense. I'm going to cook one and, and I'm not a chef. <laughs> so yeah I'm going to press one out now and I'm going to cook it and um, what you can do as well there's not a huge amount of salt in there for a kilo um, but I like to season my burgers on the stove as well so just a little bit of uh, uh, sea salt and uh, pepper on top and when I turn them over, I put a little bit on the other side. These are great with uh, camembert as well. 
melt camembert on top. You know, when you've turned them over for the last time, cover the top in camembert, just spread it. Or beat it out first into a circle and put that on top. And a rasher of bacon. So, burger for, uh, in the bun, I do a bit of salad, then the burger, obviously the camembert's on that, slice of bacon, and then the lid on with a nice sauce, either a barbecue one. I like ketchup, to be honest. But that's it. I'll be back in a second when I cook one off. Right, if you're going to do a few of these, I bought myself this. I have got a proper burger press up in the loft, but it's a pain to keep washing and cleaning. But this was on Amazon. Now, it's metal. Comes with these discs. Can't remember how much it cost. I think it was about seven or eight quid. Anyway, put your ball of meat in there. You can see how thick that is. It's really thick at the moment. You can ball it up with your hands if you don't want to do too many. So disc on the bottom, disc on top. Give it a good press. Any excess, just take off with your finger and put back into the, uh, the rest of the meat. But there is one fine burger. Let's see if it will come out. There you go. One neat, that's about six, seven ounces. But that will do. That's the one I'll cook in a minute. I'm just going to bang out the rest. And I shall cook one, not up, I should just cook one. See you in a minute. That's the first one sizzling away. I'm just gonna put a little bit of salt on top. Nice sea salt, should be enough. And then a little bit on the other side when I turn it over. So that is it. That's me burgers that you've asked for. I um, hope you uh, enjoy them when you make them. And I'll see you tomorrow night for a proper stream. <laughs> for an actual slot stream. See you soon.